Good morning, everybody. And welcome back. Time to head to the tent. Come on, Chester, let's go. to the tent. Uh, it's cloudy out. It sounds like listening to the radio that it's going to be cloudy on and off rain all weekend. Uh, highs in the mid 60s, lows in the mid 40s. Anyway, hopefully the weather will be good enough though so we can get a little bit of fishing in and I don't know, I always find something to do up the tent. Ready to get out of the truck, Chester? All right, well, made it up here. Time to get the power turned on and get things unpacked. So we got 60.3 degrees inside and 60 degrees outside. Look at that humidity, 98%. The mosquitoes are horrible out there. Let's see, I brought up some more plastic spoons, and forks, and knives, oh, and a fishing line, a couple things of bug spray, I want to switch out all the batteries in the uh, trail cameras, so I got some batteries. Stopped and got groceries. I just bought me some pre made chicken and I don't know what Monte Cristo salad is, but it looked edible. So <laughs> I'm going to have me some lunch. I think I'm going to start a small fire in the stove here. It's kind of, I don't know, feels chilly. It's damp in here and just kind of want to dry everything out. I'm just looking at one of the uh, trail cameras here and we got a deer that's going both directions. There it is again, you can barely see it right in there. There's a real nice picture of a doe right there. I just zoomed in this picture but that's a pretty nice uh, wolf right there. And that same exact spot that wolf was right there, that's a deer. Looks like it's kind of trotting or something. I can't see the head on it, but at least it's a daytime shot. I got quite a few right around 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to run out right now and check Zachary's camera. I brought some more batteries in case his battery life is going down. Well, there's his camera. I'll pull it and we'll see what's on there. Well, according to his, there's, I don't know if there's two folders. I can't remember if I pulled them all off last time or not, but there's 1,286 files on there. I'm not going to look at the mosquitoes. I don't know if you can see them, but they're just thick here. So I'm just going to copy this, 
put it back in there. His battery life, I think last time wasn't it at 83 or 84%, now it says it's at 85%, so we're gaining ground. Okay, it's just started raining out now, just kind of a light rain. I head back to the truck. Stop over at the folks' place here. My dad's up. Uh, my mom, she didn't come up this weekend. But he's building a boardwalk going out to the lake so we can put a dock in there, so I want to check it out. Well, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. No, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon right now, actually. Haven't done much this afternoon. I don't know. I am just absolutely exhausted. Work has just got me wiped out. And then I got up here and I had some emails that came in and I had to do some work bids. And then got some phone calls and some jobs got added to my work list. Man, so I've just been kind of taking it easy. I do think I'm going to bring the gas tank down, though. Uh, I may want to run out and try to do a little fishing. Well, the fish aren't biting right now. I'm not going to waste any more time out here. Head back to the tent, but what a nice night on the lake. All right, guys. Well, it kind of looks like, I don't know, it looks like rain clouds are coming. They keep saying it's maybe going to rain. I'm not sure. I'm actually going to leave right now. I'm going to go set a couple of uh, crayfish traps. That's an entirely different video, so I'll be back in about 45 minutes. All right, well, I just got back. It's time to throw a couple of beers in the freezer so they get nice and ice cold. And I suppose i got to start thinking about supper. I can't remember if I said anything or not after I got back from doing uh, Zachary's trail cam, but there was a ton of pictures on there, but I didn't see any animals. I'll have to go through them slower. I think we need to put his on a different tree because what happens is it gets windy, that tree moves, and then all the other trees are moving. Uh, let me, hold on, let me see exactly how many pictures it had on there. So there was two folders and each folder must hold 999 pictures. He had 1,284 pictures on there, but so many of them were the tree moving and leaves. I, I didn't see any animals, but like I said, I need to look closer because I was clicking through them pretty fast. Well, I think I'm going to grab a beer here, and then I'm trying to figure out what I want to cook. I didn't even bring up pork steaks this time. I brought up pork spare ribs, pork roast, chuck steak, or, yeah, chuck steak, that was fairly cheap. Uh, potatoes, some other vegetables and stuff. But anyway, I don't know, I feel much better. I was so exhausted when I got up here, I didn't really know what I was going to do. But after I've been here for a good half a day or longer, everything starts to kind of calm down for me. 
There is something I rarely see on the lake. I've only seen one other canoe this whole season. You look like you're doing a little better. He had so many mosquitoes around him, I sprayed him with uh, mosquito spray. He did not like that one bit, but he's doing much better. Come on, Chester. Come on. Good stuff, huh? Some potatoes and some onions. I'm gonna put some canned butter in here. A little bit of olive oil. Some seasoning salt. Some dehydrated mushrooms. to add a little bit of water to take care of those mushrooms. I have several birch trees up here that have to come down. This one here is completely dead. The one next to it will be completely dead by next year. These two right here are dead. There's one over there by the outhouse that's starting to die off on top too. They grow for a while, then they get that disease and, and it just wipes them out. Oh yeah, that definitely looks done. It smells delicious. All right, well, supper is done. It smells delicious. I'm gonna have a can of fruit with it. it should be good. I'm gonna Skype with Melissa for a while and I'll see you guys in a little bit. One nice thing about the tent is it might take me three nights to watch a movie 
And here I am three weeks later up to the tent and I put in 10,000 BC which I've seen several times when I was up here last time and I just when I turned on the power and clicked play it started up where it left off. Come on okay everyone well it's five after ten I'm gonna hit the hay I'm exhausted I'll see you guys in the morning. been up for about an hour here and that fog has really rolled in on the lake. I've been out here about a half hour, haven't got any bites. I switched my lures a couple of times. They're not biting yet. Thought I'd run over here, take a look at that boardwalk. He's doing see how far he got yesterday. He had to actually run into town <laughs> to get some more wood. Um, and he won't be back for probably three hours. You don't just run to town. It's a long drive from here. Looks like he got that last section finished. He had to go get these two by fours. There's a rocky bottom here, but so we thought it would just go down about a foot, a foot and a half and stop. And some of these he's driving into the ground six feet before they finally hit something really solid. Most of these boards, what we did is we took them off the old dock that I pulled out of the water, I don't know, a couple videos ago when Zachary was up here. Just reused them over here. They're working out really good. My mom's flowers are growing like crazy. When he was up here last week or the week before, he uh, built a step here for the side door of the cabin it didn't it just it had a little step but it was just a little temporary one that makes it look a lot cleaner you got this finished up here poured the concrete and now he said his next project that he's thinking of he's been drawing stuff up he wants to do a fish cleaning little um kind of a station but a, a room with a screened so you can go in there because the bugs get so bad clean your fish he wants to do that right about here couple more weeks I'll probably come over and do a whole entire backwoods cabin episode 30 or whatever it is just to show all this stuff in more detail. You're loud. I had to buy a new camera for doing videos, I don't know, probably been three weeks ago, maybe a month. My old one, which was getting old anyway, some of the video quality wasn't as good anymore, but I set it on the bumper of my truck and forgot about it, and then went to work the next day, and camera's gone. <laughs> anyway, it had this new one, the only kind you can get has these little batteries in them, and I just don't like it. At least it's it. I can have an external battery or it comes out some of them don't have that but my other batteries were huge and would fill them up to 8 to 12 hours is what they claimed you could get a good few hours out of it though these you're lucky if you get a half an hour so I've got several of these with a couple different chargers and 
when it comes time for deer hunting i'm gonna have to keep those in my pocket so they don't get cold but anyway it still works but i did like my other camera much better Well, I think we've had these logs sitting, this one, we used to have a couple of them. The other ones must have rotted away since probably 2007 when the tent went up and it's just gone. So Zach and I talked about it when he was up here and we forgot to get to it. Time to get rid of these. Probably just throw it in the fire, huh? The sun was out a minute ago and now there's kind of a little bit of a misty rain coming down. out and then the sun pops out for a little bit not perfect for fishing at all but I thought I'll run out here and give it a try for 10 minutes to see if they're biting yet Just about time to heat up some leftovers for lunch. Yeah, you don't have that much farther to go. Okay, well, I don't know, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon right now. I talked to Melissa for a while. I watched the movie Life, that new movie that's out. Uh, pretty intense. <laughs> that's all I can say. I need to run out right now and check my traps. I'll be back in a little bit. Well, I was going to go out fishing, but now it started to rain, so I'll have to wait for at least a little while. Well, it's still raining out there, so I'm just being a bum, and now I'm watching John Wick 2. Really nothing to do when it's raining out there, so pretty soon I have to uh, think about what I'm going to have for supper. Well, we got 74 degrees in here, 59 degrees outside. The rain just stopped, but there's another line coming, so I'm going to get the barbecue going. And tonight I'm going to cook up some cheap chuck steaks. I have this nice, I don't know if I talked about it yesterday or whatever, I got this nice couple of little pork roasts I want to do on the fire in cast iron, but can't do it when it's graining out. I got the steaks. I'm not even going to do a baked potato. I got these uh, portobello caps. If you guys have never done a barbecued portobello cap, oh my gosh, they're delicious. 
flip them over and put a little olive oil in there. There, you can't beat them. can't wait to take a shower. I have so much bug spray on. starting to rain out pretty good now. These do not take very long at all. I was in there on Skype with Melissa and it was raining out and all of a sudden the sun comes through the back window and I said there's got to be a rainbow out there. There's always one when it does that. Look at that. Beautiful. Mushroom smells so good. Okay, everyone, while it's dinner time, I'm not going to be able to eat that much. I've got my lunch for tomorrow, and then I'm going to take me a shower. It's sad that uh, 10 days ago was the first day of summer, which means the days are all getting shorter now. I love when the days are long like this. I never go see fireworks anymore and I can be up here on a Saturday night. Fourth of July isn't until Tuesday, but they're smart up here. There's a little park on a lake that's connected to this one and uh, they have their fireworks show. Come on in, Chester. Good boy.
They're still popping them off. You can see the reflection of them off the water. I'll see you guys in the morning. Finally some sunshine, not a real big chance of rain today. I'm really not sure how windy it's going to get, but and I don't think that the fish will be biting because it rained last night, but we'll give it a try. out now with the worm not getting any nibbles on that the wind is out of the west and that makes it tough all the little coves that I like to go in and, and fish are are all windy now well I think I'm gonna go back and mow the grass hopefully it's dried out a little bit now it's already a little bit after 8 o'clock in the morning if I'm duck hunting or deer hunting I put in a lot more effort than I do when I go fishing I get bored really fast, so anyway, let's go back and mow the grass and we'll come out here later on today. Well, I've been mowing for the last hour and 45 minutes. I got the driveway done, the part of the road that I do out there, the trail in here. Now I'm just going on the backyard. I got everything mowed. It took a little over three hours, but I'm glad it's all done. I noticed when I was moving this chair thing here that the, she's getting rotted out. So I got this for, I got these for free. I was doing a job up on another lake and there was a cat guy that was getting new stuff and I took it. But I think I'm gonna haul this home this time and I'm gonna make a whole new one and then I'll bring it up with me, I don't know, next time or the time after that when I come up. Well, my dad stopped by this afternoon for a little while, and then I've been out here clearing out some of this brush that likes to grow right next to the lake here. Every few years, you got to come in here and chop it down. I need to get my waders back up here and cut some more of it because it gets too close to too wet for my tennis shoes. So, anyway, that's about all I've been doing. I think I'm going to run down and grab those crayfish traps out of the river. 
And uh, since I haven't caught anything, uh, I, there won't be a mud bugging video on it. I don't post. I've done it before, but I don't like to post videos where I don't get anything. So might as well bring you guys along because it's a really pretty little stretch of river right there. See how nice that driveway looks down here? All nice and mowed. This is always a really pretty part of the river right here. I mean, I've, I haven't seen a whole bunch of this river, so I'm sure there's lots of it like this, but I've been here when the water was so high in the spring from the snow melt that it was up over these rocks here. And I've been here with the kids years ago when we had kind of a drought summer and it was late summer, and we could walk almost the whole way across the river on the rocks that are actually forming the rapids right here. I've trapped crayfish here before. That's probably been three years. And you catch some, you don't get the rusties like you get down in the cities, that evasive species. It's just simply not, it's not up here. All these, like this river right here is running north. We're past the divide. So you get the northern uh, crayfish up here. But, and some of them are neat because they have a bluish color to them. Anyway, I threw this trap not that far over, so I don't know what happened here, but I'm going to pull this out. I've got another one sitting up over there. I used pig liver for bait in here, and just like yesterday, I have nothing in the trap. And like I said, I've caught them here before, not in big numbers. You'll get six or seven in a trap. Oh well, at least I tried. Nothing on that one either. So tonight for supper, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I got a couple of these home-raised, home-butchered pork little roasts. This one here was actually a stir-fry or a boneless roast right here. This is the end of the pork chops. I don't know what you call that. But... I'm going to add some vegetables in with that. The good thing about this is this is way more than I can eat, but I can. I brought my cast iron pot from home. I need to bring some up here. Uh, anyway. Uh, so once it's done, it cools down, I can just put it in the refrigerator and tomorrow I'll take the whole cast iron pot, put it in the cooler, bring it home. I'll eat it for a couple days.
So I have some sausage there cut up and some onion. Put some olive oil in here. I added some beef stock to that. Throw in some carrots, some broccoli, and some cauliflower. Mushrooms. Put in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Some garlic powder. Mix all this up. I'm going to taste this to see how it is. It's not bad. Now, the tricky part I got to try to fit these chunks of meat in here. <laughs> I need a bigger crock. I got one at home that Melissa got me, but it's huge. So I haven't brought that one up here yet. Now I'm just going to let that sit there and cook for a couple hours and I'll just keep tending the fire and move it over a little bit if it gets too hot in there. It should be delicious. <laughs> it smells so good, I can't stand it. A lot of people up here seem to really like moths. I don't know, but that is one of the weirdest looking ones. Look at that thing. Look at the colors. That's beautiful. I'm 
pretty sure that's completely done. Uh, but I, and I don't want it falling apart like a slow cooker, but I'm going to give it about 10 more minutes and I'm going to pull it off. Okay, everyone, while well, it's dinner time, I just took a little taste of that pork. It's absolutely delicious. Not bad. I've been here for three full days, except for the cast iron thing tonight, which I'll do at home. I got four dishes. That's my kind of dishes. I can't believe I just had to start the wood stove and it's the beginning of July, but it's down to 58 and the radio just had the uh, forecast on and it's supposed to get down to 46 to 48 tonight and it's already down to 68 in here. So hopefully if I just run one load of wood through this uh, and then shut her down, it's kind of like a big rock and it keeps it around 68 to 70 degrees in here all night. Okay everyone, well I'm going to go to bed, I'm going to head home tomorrow, and I will see you guys in the morning. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Everything is packed up. I'm just going to shut down the power. It'll be time to hit the road. We'll see you guys on the next video.